This video is covering NAD+, and it's made for my fifth year biology class to help them understand this particularly important molecule in preparation for studying cellular respiration. It's really important that you know the full name of the molecule. It's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD plus is a carrier molecule. It traps electrons and protons and transfers them to where they're needed in the cell. And that's the best way of describing it. State that it's a carrier molecule. State that it traps electrons and protons. And finally, that it transfers those electrons and protons to where they're needed in the cell. It's really important that you know how NAD plus traps the electrons and protons and where indeed are these electrons and protons coming from? Well, firstly, the electrons and the protons are coming from hydrogen atoms, pairs of hydrogen atoms. And so whenever we consider NAD plus in cellular respiration, we always consider electrons and protons coming from pairs of hydrogen atoms. So the details of this reaction are NAD plus will trap two electrons and one proton. Remember, they're coming from hydrogen atoms and so is converted or is reduced to NADH. And when you compare NAD plus with NADH, we consider NAD plus to be a low energy molecule and NADH to be high energy. To make our equation perfect, we have to account for that one other proton. Remember, we're talking about pairs of hydrogen atoms, two electrons and two protons. So there's one other proton that needs to be added into the equation. So let's sum up. NAD plus is known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's a carrier molecule and it traps electrons and protons and transfers these to where they're needed in the cell. The electrons and the protons are from pairs of hydrogen atoms. And because we're getting ready to study cellular respiration, we're stating that these hydrogen atoms come from glucose or other substrate molecules in cellular respiration. We know that NAD plus is a low energy molecule and when it traps those electrons and that proton, it turns into NADH, which is a high energy molecule. It's really important that you always remember to write that once NADH transfers those electrons and that proton, that NAD plus is regenerated, all ready to do some more trapping and transferring.